So all classes at Harvard University will be online next school year. School officials say some students will be allowed to live on campus, but uh, that they will attend classes remotely. I want to bring in Dr. Ajis Jha, director of the Harvard Global Health Institute. And doctor, good to have you. Your timing is perfect today, given the news out of, out of Cambridge. Is this the shape of things to come for millions of American students going back in the fall, if they go back at all? Yeah, Bill, thanks for having me on. You know, this is what I'm worried about, uh -huh. is that if we don't have the virus suppressed, uh, this is what we're going to see in more and more places. And uh, that's one thing for colleges and universities. I'm really worried about what we're, what's going to happen with primary and secondary schools across the country, because we really do have to get the kids back to school. Uh, no doubt about that. The age profile is younger, however, and as it moves and affects younger people, they, they tend to be healthier and the, and the mortality rate drops. I just, well, what is your feeling about that level of data that's coming to you today? Yeah. Yeah. So there's no doubt about it. Younger people definitely do better. So if you think about college age kids, they're probably about the lowest risk group there is. There are two sets of issues, though. Um, one is occasionally that some of them do end up getting very, very sick. And so if you have a large outbreak, even among college age kids, it's a challenge. And the second, of course, is you need older people. You need professors and staff and uh, all sorts of other folks to make a university run. And so you got to think about the health of those people as well. And so if they don't feel comfortable teaching uh, and or, or working in a, in a university because of, of worries about large outbreaks, the kids might be OK, but it'll be hard to run the place. Yeah, it's a, it's a, the other side of that is kids staying home even longer. And then the mental health aspects that impact so many young children who are trying to understand what's going on out there. What's your view on that, doctor? Yeah, I, I absolutely. This To me, this is like, I hate both of these choices, right? I don't want large outbreaks in schools, and I really, really don't want kids at home. And I, I have to tell you, particularly for primary and secondary schools, because then parents can't work effectively. And so it has these huge effects throughout our entire economy. And the single biggest thing we can do to avoid making these really awful choices is suppress the level of virus that we have in the community so we can open up schools and colleges and universities safely. If we don't, I am worried we're heading towards a fall and winter where we're going to be stuck at home and it's going to be terrible for children. Uh, yeah, I know you were positive over the weekend and uh, watching in a few interviews about a vaccine. Uh, you believe it's coming, but it probably won't be here till early 2021. However, in the state of New York, the positivity results are now at 1%. That's amazing. Back in late March, those same numbers were at 71%. Uh, that, yep. That's a big difference. Uh, what, what that tells me is that we can manage this carefully, collectively. Yep. In, in, in a way that that is effective and may not prevent millions and millions of kids missing school this fall. Bill, from from, you know, from your mouth to God's ears, as they say, I think you're absolutely right. And I think it is completely doable. So here's the bottom line is New York has done it. New York was in horrible shape. They shut down. They really shut down. They stayed shut down for a long time. And they have massively wrapped up testing and, tra uh, and tracing. So that's how you do it. I mean, if, if we wanted, if we, let's say, as a country today said, we're going to get the kids back to school this fall, no matter what. I believe we need to get people wearing masks when they're in public. I think we need to ramp up testing. And we got to make some decisions, like maybe no indoor bars, maybe no nightclubs. We'll live without those. We'll bring the virus levels down. And if we do, then we can have kids back in school, which I think would be such a huge bonus, not just for the kids, but also for the parents. Doctor, thanks for coming back today. Let's speak in a couple more days and see where we are then. Thank you.